All right, let's check back in with meteorologist Melissa Nord. And this sounds like uh, Burl's going to be a big problem, Mel. It, it is, Ron. And, it, and these are a lot of very tiny islands, and it takes a lot to evacuate people off of them. This is, though, the earliest ever that we have ever had a hurricane reach Category 4 strength in the Atlantic. It beats the old previous record of Hurricane Dennis from back in 2005 by about a week. So it is June still, and we normally do not see storms that reach this strong this early in the season. Here's where the storm is right now. You notice these are the Windward Islands right here. So that's going to pass overhead tonight and then out into the Caribbean. Let me show you the latest track from the National Hurricane Center. This has it staying as a Category 4 storm. These islands are very small. So normally when hurricanes go over larger areas of land, it can really disrupt the storm and tear them apart. But because the islands are so small, it doesn't really impact the strength of the storm at all. As we get out into the Caribbean, still a lot of very warm and deep warm ocean water so it should stay a major hurricane new tropical storm watches out for the southern part of Hispaniola including the southern part of Dominican Republic and Haiti and then as we get into the end of the week eventually you notice this cone of uncertainty includes it moving in closer to the Yucatan Peninsula that includes Cancun so spaghetti models kind of in good agreement for the next few days but as we get out into the very end of the seven day period some models take this out to the Bay of Campeche others try to curve it into the Gulf of Mexico something we'll be watching very closely all also, this is brand new this afternoon. Tropical Depression 3 has also formed in the Bay of Campeche. This may briefly be able to become our next tropical storm. That next time on the list is Chris before it makes a landfall in New Mexico, and they do have now tropical storm warnings in effect there. And there's also yet another tropical wave. This is Invest 96L. It has a 70% chance of development over the next seven days. So we are very quickly getting into July and moving down that list of hurricane names. The next name on the list, Chris and then Debbie. So if we end up seeing that next storm become a name system, that will be Debbie. And hurricane season runs through November 30th. A lot of territory left to go.